Hey cruisers, second time is a charm. So sorry about yesterday. We had a massive storm in California and the wind knocked out our internet completely. So we were without cell service, we were without internet, it was cray cray. Um, but thank you very much to those of you who helped us to spread the word that we were not gonna be able to go live yesterday but rescheduled for today. We're so happy to have you here. So before we get into the Q&A session today, I just have a few items of housekeeping that I wanna go over. If you're new to this channel first, I would like to welcome you. We would love if you would subscribe to our channel, follow along for more Q&A for all kinds of cruise vlogs, all kinds of fun. That would be wonderful. Second, I want to give a shout out to a very special someone who's out in the audience today, our friend Susie, who goes by another name on YouTube. We won't even worry about what name that is, but she is in the hospital today. Got it got injured pretty badly a few weeks ago and is recovering. Very frustrating recovery process, but we love her and wanted to bring a smile to her face. So if everybody could say hello to Susie in the chat today, it's S-U-Z-I, by the way. I know that she would absolutely love that. And girlfriend, we know you're gonna get better very, very soon. We're glad you're all right. And I know you're gonna heal those bones right up. So that's our mwah, smooches to our Susie today. Next, I wanted to let those of you who are students in our masterclass know that we've added a bonus item today. It is a um, checklist for how to make the ultimate cruise binder. So that is in the masterclass and we've linked to it in the description. We're going to be doing a video about how to make the ultimate cruise binder here on our regular channel as well. So if you're not a student in our masterclass, if you don't wanna enroll, you don't have to, we'll make a video all about it. But wanted to let our students know that we have added that little special something for you. Also, for those of you who are not enrolled in our masterclass, I promise I'm almost done with all the housekeeping. We have done something totally new as of this morning. We are allowing our potentially interested students to watch the first video before they pay for the course. So you can click on the link in the description of this video. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you pop it in the chat for me really quick? What's that you did? So it's in the chat as well. And you get to, you have to put in a username and a password and you get to watch the first video and then decide if it's something that you'd be interested in. So that's something new and exciting that we wanted to share with all of you. And then last housekeeping item before we get to all the questions and answers today is to let you know when our next live stream is. It is two weeks from yesterday so it's saturday february 16th at noon pacific as far as i know <laughs> if anything goes awry we will let you know but we're going to be producing vlogs in the meantime you'll see our travel vlogs coming probably every thursday from our asia trip and some other cool videos as well so phew we got all of that out of the way let's see here brooke wants me to say hello hello brooke nice to see you here let's see what kind of questions that we have today while mr cruise tip steve helps me to queue up questions we do have a few questions from subscribers who couldn't couldn't be here today and they're like please i can't be there help me out i'd like my questions to be answered the first one is from lauren on facebook and this is one that i need all of your help with carnival cruisers got a question for you lauren wants to know if there's anything special that Carnival does for the 4th of July on Carnival Breeze. So let us know in the chat if anybody's familiar with any special events, parties. I don't think they do fireworks, but what can you expect on Carnival Breeze on 4th of July? And then, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, the next question is actually for you, but I can help you to answer this one because I definitely know the answer. Our friend Craig Bishop, wants to know, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, if you have ever considered using a drone for our vlogs, and if so, which do you recommend? So I'm gonna start, because I know he's busy over there on the other side, I'm gonna start with our with our answer and, and, and then let him kind of add to the explanation. Yes, Craig, we've absolutely considered taking a drone. In fact, we've considered a lot. We've considered buying a drone many, many times, but it always comes back to a pretty hard no for us, and there's several reasons why. Number one, most of the cruise lines don't allow you to keep them with you at all times. It's not that they don't allow drones necessarily on the ship, but you're supposed to have them confiscated or at least have the controller confiscated by the ship staff when you get on the ship. And then if you'd like to take possession of your drone or your controller when you go into port, you may do that. But that sounds like a huge pain to me. Aerial footage is awesome. We would love to get drone footage, but I gotta tell you, for us, the juice is not worth the squeeze at this point. We even, when we were sailing with MSC, 
we even inquired directly with MSC about taking our drone to the Caribbean, and they said, no, we just, we don't allow it, but you can take them, you can take it to ports, but we will keep possession of it, I believe they said, when you're on the ship. So can't use it on the ship under any circumstances. And to us, getting permits to use it in ports and dealing with the authorities is just not worth it. And I've heard of other content creators having their drones confiscated recently, and I'm just, we're just not into that. And I don't want to deal with the hassle. So how did I answer that, honey? <laughs> Did I do okay? Well, I think you did fine. There's other things to add to that too, like we live in California, so pretty much wouldn't be, we'd have to probably drive like an hour before we could find some place to, to fly it. Yeah. And also I think that, um, you know, when you're using a drone, especially in, you know, a, a foreign country or something like that, you have to be, you have to be a little bit more gutsy than I think I am as a, as a videographer. Um, I, I am not going to be confident confrontational and I think that a lot of times you just have to take it out and start flying it and wait for somebody to come up and talk to you I'm I'm more of a I'm gonna look and find out what the rules are and, yeah. and talk to the right people and and uh, I think that just isn't gonna you know isn't gonna fly <laughs> sorry yeah. for the pun but I'd but yeah. other than that you know if you're looking for a recommendation I, you gotta probably gotta go with DJI you know I really like the Mavic Mavic 2s Mavic Pro Mavic uh -huh. Air what well, about the Phantom is it too big the Phantom is too big for, okay. for me, yeah. Um, I mean, if you're, if you're traveling, the Phantom's too okay. big. Okay, cool. All right, well, the questions are flying in hot. So I'm going to start with the ones that Mr. Christopher TV put on the screen for me, and then we'll just keep them coming. I'm going to go through them as fast as I can. Amy said, would you go on a ship or a cruise line that got negative reviews from someone whose opinion you valued, or would you want to decide for yourself? Amy, 100%. I would want to decide for myself because every cruise I've ever been on has gotten massive amounts of negative reviews from people. Um, people like to leave negative reviews. Now, if it was a ship that never got any positive reviews and the the content of those reviews was concerning to me personally, if the, so if there was something in the reviews that I knew would really, really bother me and my family, then yes. But man, I, I'd say that people, you know, really, really like to leave bad reviews and you're going to find them on absolutely any ship. So I, I do always choose for myself. Um, yeah, I mean, if I look back at a lot of the ships that I've been on, a lot of them d get poor reviews. Maybe the ship is old. Um, people like to complain about that. We don't always sail on the newest ships, so that's probably one of the most common things that we get is, oh, it's such an old ship. It's in such poor condition. And then we get on it and we're like, what are you talking about? And for being 20 years old, it looks incredible to us. So again, I would definitely form my own opinion. Jessica says, question about Norwegian Jade. They have my 13-year-old daughter listed as an adult. Do you know if they'll allow her to order from the kids' menu, not trying to skimp on price? She's just really picky. Jessica, they probably will, it, but there's... Uh, yeah, actually they will. In the main dining room, anyone can order off the kids' menu. If I wanted to order a kid's hamburger, it's not, it's not a problem. You should be able to do that anytime. In a steakhouse or an upcharge restaurant, I mean, if they're really splitting hairs, they might give you trouble about her ordering off the kids' menu, but you should try for sure. Okay. Let's see here. Monica Salinas says, question, first time cruising on Royal, can I take a power strip? I'm hearing you cannot. I'm hearing that they're confiscating all power strips on Royal Caribbean right now. Aaron says, also I'm interested in knowing what is your favorite cruise line and why? Aaron, we don't have a favorite. We get asked this question a lot. We've sailed with, I think, six different cruise lines. We've sailed the most with Princess and Carnival, but we really, there has never been a cruise line that we don't like and we like them all for different reasons. So I'm really sorry, but I don't, I don't really have a favorite. Vicky said, when, when you're eating at the steakhouse, are you able to have multiple things like in the main dining room? Vicky, some, on some cruise lines, that's a yes. On some, it's a no. Generally, on, with entrees, it's a no. So usually with um, appetizers and desserts, you could order more than one if you wanted to. For example, when I go to the steakhouse on Carnival, I almost always order two appetizers, maybe a salad and a soup, maybe a shrimp cocktail and a salad, and then one entree. They will tell you what the price is. If you want to add an entree, um, they'll tell you what the add-on price is. Sometimes it's like $10, but it varies per cruise line. Monica says... Um, First cruise on February 17th on Liberty, what can I expect? Monica, that's kind of a general question. It's, a, it's hard for me to answer. Um, I think you can expect to have a great time. You should have really good weather. I think you're going to have a blast. If you have some specific questions for us, let us know. We'll try to help you out in the, in the chat. Nicole says, in Cozumel, Mahogany Bay, Belize, or Costa Maya, which ruins excursion should my family and I do? Okay. This is a really hard one, Nicole, because I would... If there's any way you can go to Coba, C-O-B-A, which is on mainland Cancun, when you are in 
um, Cozumel, those are the best ruins I've ever seen and I recommend them. But at the same time, I don't like um, the mainland trip from Cozumel to the mainland. So I'm a little bit torn on that. So if you wanna message me on Facebook, some of your different options that you have, like shore excursions and what ruins they are, I can help you to make a decision. Lindsay said, we have eight people in five different reservations cruising on Carnival Dream soon. How do we arrange for us to be seated together at dinner? We're all booked for late dining. Okay, Lindsay, that's a really good thing that you guys all booked late dining because usually the maitre d's are able to be more flexible with late dining. So what you need to do is on day one of your cruise, you need to go to the dining room office hours. So open up your newsletter. This is not, I'm going to show you what a newsletter would look like on Princess, but this isn't what it looks like on Carnival. But you're going to find that somewhere in here on the daily schedule on day one, there's going to be a spot that says, you know, talk to the, the maitre d'. Usually it's around 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. You need to go to the dining room and have all of their stateroom numbers prepared. You probably don't need to take everyone with you, just a couple of representatives, and ask them to seat you all together. They may not be able to accommodate you on the first night, but they should be able to by the second or third night. So make sure that you attend that. You could also ask your travel agent to talk to Carnival in advance, but I don't know if that's going to work. Beep848 says, need more of your Asian cruise videos. And please, Cruise Tips TV, go to Vietnam and Thailand. We're planning our Singapore to Hong Kong cruise and would want your input before we go. Okay, beep. We have more vlogs coming for you. We have Hong Kong coming. We have, um, we have two cities in Vietnam. So we have... Um, Phu Mai and, or Phu Mi and uh, Ho Chi Minh City vlogs coming. So you have a lot more to look forward to. And then also Singapore, our experience at the Singapore airport, which is amazing. Our son was sick, so we couldn't do a tour in um, Singapore, but it's the airport alone was a destination. So we're gonna keep working on that for you. And hopefully another vlog will go live this Thursday. So we're going every Thursday, one a week, every Thursday until we're done. So you have four or five more coming. Daisy said, what if it's raining dur during a port excursion for a water park? Shuttle and tickets already purchased. Usually, Daisy, you, unless the cruise line or tour provider cancels the excursion on their own, you are going to be held to um, rain or shine on that. So you're not probably not going to be able to get a refund. Um, I, if you want to cancel or if you want to find out their policy, I would check with them now and say, what is your, you know, your policy? Is it rain or shine? How much time, if I think it's going to rain, when, what is your cancellation time frame? What is the window of time that I would need to cancel? Nancy says, what do you think about doing a tea ceremony? Do you think it's worth it when in Japan? Nancy, I do. It was something we were really interested in doing. We did not get around to it, but it was, if I had more time, I would have done it. And if it interests you, I think you should do it. I've heard they're wonderful. Pamela Rising says, hi, everyone. Has everyone, anyone ever used a portable turbine washer on board? No, definitely not, Pamela. I haven't. We can see if other people have. Um, can you move Fatima's question up for me, hun? I'm going to get to your question next, Fatima. I just can't see it yet. I can see you say you're contemplating your son and you leaving from Baltimore on a cruise. Does Do Norwegian and Royal Caribbean leave from there? My son has autistic tendencies. He's an adult. What do you think? Um, Fatima, off the top of my head, I'm not sure which ships are sailing from Baltimore, but what I would recommend you do is go to cruiseline.com and do um, search by departure port and see which... Um, which ships are sailing out of Baltimore. As for your son having autism, the, the cruise lines are generally extremely accommodating with autism. Um, there is an organization called Autism on the Seas. If you're interested in more information or going on a cruise where maybe you're, you have a host to help you with him, I don't know if they accommodate adults, but I would check that. Daisy said, do the online check-in reservations for embarkation time have limited availability on time desired? Yeah, Daisy, they do. So if you're asked to select a time, those time slots can fill up. So yes, they do. Mary said, I booked Carnival Panorama and they added the trampoline park on my floor. My family is also on the same floor, so moving is not an option. Do you think they'll give a discount or onboard credit? No, I do not think that they will do that. Um, I wouldn't worry about it being on your floor. I would be worried about it being above your floor because you don't want the noise above you. Thank you, Hooch. Thank you, Susie. I'm so glad that you guys were able to be here today. You made us smile. 
Um, let's see here. Marty, I'm not going to comment on the controversy. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I'm kind of over it. I, we posted one of, um, a wonderful video from Tony at La Lita Loca the other day, and it's just not something I personally want to talk about. It's sad. It makes every YouTuber look bad, and it, to me, it's a, just a disgrace, but I don't have the facts, and I'm just going to kind of stay neutral on it if that's okay with you. Um, Lisa said, Sherry, going on Freedom in April, first time cruisers, wondering about the towels. Can we take the pool towels off the ship or should we bring our own? Yes, you can absolutely take them, Lisa. Just make sure they come back on board with you or you will be charged. Um, but yeah, that's what they're there for. If you want to take your own towels, you can, but then you have to wash them and that's kind of icky. Brian said, just booked NCL Bliss for Alaska 2020. Does Norwegian have some, something similar to Carnival Faster to the Fun? No. I'm sorry, Brian. Unfortunately, at this time, they don't. I know that Royal Caribbean is rolling something out similar. I believe it's part of the key program, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't believe Norwegian does yet. Marion, first time in the chat. Welcome. Question. My family and I, five people, all adults and teens, will be cruising in June. One of the ports is Falmouth, Jamaica. Any ideas on what we should do? Marion, we get the question about Falmouth a lot. Let's see if our community can give you some ideas. We did the Blue Hole excursion from Ocho Rios, and I think you can also do it from Falmouth, but let's see if our community has any suggestions for Falmouth. Go. Oh, hey, I see Emma in the house. Hey, Emma. Emma's here from Emma Cruz's, guys. She just got back from MSC Maravilla and has some beautiful pictures on her page if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that ship. It's the same one we're going on in March, and she does a beautiful job of covering all that good stuff. And Emma, I think you're going live today. Aren't you premiering your room tour at 1 p.m. Pacific time? You guys might want to check that out. It's going to be really cool. All right, Tammy says, any recommendations on things to see and do in Nassau? Yeah, Tammy, there's a ton you can do. Um, you could go um, visit, I believe Blue Lagoon is one of the places that a lot of people like to go, so look for excursions that do that. We really enjoy going to Atlantis. We've been there several times, and we splurged on tickets to the water park last time, and it was wonderful. You could also visit Atlantis and not splurge on the water park and just visit the property, just pay for the cab there and back. You could go to the beach. You could go to Cable Beach, which is very pretty. Um, Melinda said, is the Enclave on Regal Princess worth the splurge? I think, Melinda, it really just depends on you and if you really want that adults-only kind of privacy and exclusivity. Um, I think for some people, maybe for couples, it's probably worth it. Okay, let's see. Dylan Loves Cat says, how are you answering through text? Do you know what that means? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Dylan loves cats. It's because my husband um, is doing that. He is actually, there's, there's two of us in the house. I'm here on camera and he's over there monitoring the chat. Sorry about that. It took me a minute. I was like, who's texting you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Elaine says, Elaine says, first time cruising out of Barcelona, Spain. Any special places to see going there two days early? Yes, Elaine, absolutely. Um, there's three places I would suggest that you visit. There's a, there's a gazillion top, top places that you want to visit in Barcelona, but I would think that one thing you definitely want to make sure that you do is go to La Sagrada Familia and see that. Another thing to do is to walk Las Ramblas, or La Rambla as they call it, and if you want to take a day trip to Montserrat, that is highly recommended by many people that we know. Hope that helps. Catherine says, going on my fifth Royal Caribbean ship this March, March on Anthem. Have you done the Quantum or Large ships. No, Catherine, the biggest Royal Caribbean ship we've been on was Liberty of the Seas, but we're looking at Royal Caribbean as something to do in the next couple of years and it'll probably be on a mega ship. So that's exciting. I hope you have a wonderful time on Anthem. Okay. Um, D Dylan says, what celebrity cruise is the best for children? I think whatever itinerary works for you. I think celebrity does tend to be a cruise line geared towards older, the older generation. However, I've heard that they are fine for kids. So I would do something that's convenient for you and that has the right home port for you and the destination that you want. I don't know of any specific ship that's better for kids. Okay, Santa Claus is in the house. Santa Claus says, where do you find packing lists? Do you have any excursion ideas for San Juan, Puerto Rico in the afternoon? Okay, Santa Claus for packing lists, you can go to Pinterest and type in cruise packing list and you'll get a ton of them. Or you can also enroll in our intro to cruising masterclass that has all the checklists and packing lists you would ever need. There's a discount for it. It's a $25 course. We have a $5 discount, makes it $19. And you can get all the checklists you need. Link in the description for the video. What to do in and one for the afternoon. I would say if you only have one afternoon, I would walk to the fort 
and other folks in the chat can weigh in on that as well. That would be great. Jennifer, thank you so much for the super chat. I see you there. Okay, Christy says, going on Carnival Pride in July, first time cruise ever. Anything you have to do? Yes, Kirsty, you have a lot to do. Oh my goodness, where do we start? Guys, what should Kirsty do? To prepare for her cruise, I mean, where do we even start? You need to put together, um, you know, your your packing game. You need to start planning your excursions. You need to book your flights. There's so many things to think of. So why don't we all give her some ideas in the chat of what's the most important thing that she should do? Emily said, "How much are adult drinks usually on Carnival cruises? Depends on what you're drinking." Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say beers are probably around five to six dollars. Wine, seven to eight dollars a glass. Cocktails, eight fifty to eleven dollars per cocktail. Did I hit that? Okay, guys, on the drink prices for Carnival, plus gratuity. By the way, they will add gratuity to that automatically. Okay, Barb said on Royal Caribbean, is there conditioner in the shower, or only shampoo and body wash? I'm not sure, Barb. So our friends in the chat, let Barb know, is there conditioner? I don't think there is, but let's, let's find out. Maybe there are. Okay. All right. Gonna get back to the questions here. Let's see, Nancy Greenstreet, do you think they will take away my converter plugs? Nancy, it depends on the cruise line. If you're on Royal Caribbean, they probably will. Um, if you're taking a converter, a power converter, um, you know, because you're traveling to another country, maybe not, but you'll have to go collect it in the, in the room where they keep forbidden stuff and explain yourself and see what they say. So, all right, Maria said, our first ever cruise to the Southern Caribbean on Crown Princess, December, 2019. Any suggestions or things to avoid? Maria, um, without knowing your ports entirely, I would say usually Southern Caribbean cruises are a little bit port intensive, so be careful not to overschedule yourself. You need to rest, and hopefully you have a few sea days in between to rest. Lots and lots of sunscreen. Make sure you take lots of sunscreen, cool cotton clothing, and very comfortable shoes. Um, Daisy said, are there any hidden saunas on Anthem of the Seas or only if you purchase the relaxation areas? I'm not sure, Daisy, if there's any hidden saunas. Does anybody know if they have a free any free thermal areas on Anthem? Okay. Tori needs excursion recommendations for Curacao. I've not been to Curacao, but I'm sure our community can help you. Amanda has a question for you, honey. What's the best GoPro for water excursions in the Caribbean? And have we ever been on a medallion cruise? We've never been on a medallion cruise, and we get asked a lot about the GoPro, so I'm going to let you answer that. Oh, well, you know, they're all pretty good now, but I, I think that, you know, now that you, they've got the firmware patches for the 7, I'd go with the 7, or if you can get a really good deal on the 6, go with the 6. Um, what you're going to get with 7 is, is much better stabilization, so I'd recommend the 7 if you can get a cool. good deal on it. Okay, sounds good. Um, can you move up the next question for me from Julia? What's wrong? You got a cramp? Oh no, he scared me. I thought you were having a heart attack, honey. Whew. Man, you made a pretty bad face. I was very, you were like, oh. your finger cramp? Oh, he's like trying to type in his finger cramp? We might need to get you some calcium, honey. You've been having cramps this weekend. His leg cramped up, he's just like, oh gosh. It's no fun getting old, you guys. This is no fair. We don't, we don't want to get old. Let's. Stop all this getting old nonsense, right? Okay, um, Julia's question, I can't quite see the whole thing. We got the drink package for our upcoming cruise on Norwegian as our free sea perk. Our daughter is 10. Will we have to purchase the soda package for her? Julia, I don't think so. You sh that should have been handled at the time of booking, so I don't think they're gonna make you add anything on that you didn't already add. Did you book with a travel agent? If so, check with your agent. Sometimes they'll give a soda package for free to the third person in the room, but I'm not sure. Um, Janisha said, are you going on a Carnival new ship, Mardi Gras? Janisha, our first plan with Carnival is to get on Panorama. So that's gonna probably be the first cruise that we get, the, the first new ship with Carnival that we go on. So that should be exciting next winter. Um, yes, Regina, there are cruising options in Germany. There are some departure ports for sure in Germany. I'm trying to remember um, which ones. Uh, I know off the top of my head that there's one near Berlin. I'm trying to remember which one specifically. Um, let me take a look here for a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can find it fast enough. But there's a ton of options. I think um, Aida, Azamara, Carnival, Celebrity, Crystal. A lot of them are up in that area of Europe. I just. Oh, Hamburg. 
Hamburg is in Germany, isn't it? I know that that's one common departure port. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Maria said body wash on Princess. What do they use? Should I bring my own? Maria, I don't know the brand specifically. It's not bad though. They, they should provide that and you probably will have the option of bar soap as well. I don't usually use it. I use my own a small travel size Dove bar soap that I buy at Target. So that's, that's kind of up to you, but that's what I do. That's my preference. Okay. Ready for the next question. Okay. Daisy said, where do you pack your snorkel gear? Just in your regular suitcase, kind of tucked in nicely, Daisy. I, I wouldn't put it in my carry-on bags. Um, no, Tom, I've never been on one of the English cruise, ship, English cruise ships like Fred Olson, Morella, Thompson, or Piano, but we would love to, and I think we would like it. That'd be super fun. That'd be great. I would love to sail out of Southampton, too. That's kind of on my wish list. Maureen says, going on a cruise to Alaska in July. Our cabin is below the pool. Will it be too noisy? Maureen, it's hard to say. In Alaska you're not at as much risk of hearing people running around, but you may hear them dragging the pool chairs at night to put them away. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it in Alaska. If you really like your cabin location, don't change it. But if it's bothering you, look into, look into having it moved, okay? All right. Shannon said, thinking about prepaying and booking a spa package on my upcoming Carnival cruise in March, will I run into upselling when you're getting services? Yeah, probably. Most of the cruise ships still try to sell you product. So here's what I do. When I get a spa treatment on any cruise ship, I simply tell them at the beginning of the treatment, hey, I just wanted to let you know, I'm just here for relaxation today. I'm not interested in buying any products. They have always totally respected that when I've done it and I, they never say a word. If they continue to upsell after that, I would let the management know that they did that. Just let them know, I'm not interested. And you should be okay. All right. Oh, I see Amanda's question here at the bottom. While well, you're putting in more questions for me, I'm gonna answer this one. We wanna go cenote jumping in Cozumel. Mom is scared, what do you think? Amanda, I think it's amazing. We're very adventuresome people though, and we've done cenote jumping in Cozumel, and it was fabulous. I loved it, so I would recommend it. Okay. Sunny Susie said, what are your favorite excursions for St. Martin for a family of, with a five and seven year old? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I would probably go to the beach for the day. So um, subscribers, friends, let's tell her which St. Martin beach she should go to. Is it, is it Megan's Bay? Is that on St. Thomas or is that on St. Martin? I have only done one excursion in St. Martin and it was probably a little too much for the little kids. Okay, Kelly says, Thank you for these wonderful vlogs. Will Princess Cruises allow me to bring a power strip on board to charge multiple devices at the same time? Possibly, Kelly. We haven't had ours confiscated from Princess ever, but I do recommend a USB charging hub as an alternative if you can. They tend not to confiscate those as much. Um, Ryan said, first cruise on the Royal Victoria Cunard to Guernsey, Rotterdam, and Bruges. Any tips? Ryan, I haven't been to any of those places, but I hope that after we're, we've become a little bit more experienced with cruising over in, um, in Europe that we'll have more tips for you. I would recommend, those seem like very safe cities in general, so my general tips about getting anti-theft bags and things like that may not apply as much, but obviously comfortable walking shoes are gonna be critical. Drink tons of water because you're gonna be on your feet a lot, and I'll keep you posted as I learn more about that. Brigilda said, Recomm recommendation for Curacao, take a cab to Casabu Beach, it's amazing. Brigitte says, are you doing carry-on only for your March cruise? Yes, we are, Brigitte, or Bridget. I'm not sure if I'm saying that way too French. I apologize, <laughs> but yeah, we're planning on it. Okay, all right, more questions. Let's see here. Danielle wants excursions. Doing a cruise from Dubai, does anybody have excursion suggestions? I have never been to Dubai, Daniel, but I've heard, Daniel, that they have indoor snow skiing in Dubai. That would be the first thing that I would want to do. For those of you, well, there's a lot of European cruise questions today. For those of you um, cruising Europe, Renee said, what is the best cruise line for a Scandinavian cruise? Um, off the top of my head, I'm trying to think of who does Scandinavia. I know Holland America and MSC do for sure. Those would be the two that I would look at first. Fran said, how far in advance is advisable to obtain a Chinese visa? Fran, first check with your cruise line to see if that's something that they handle for you. I know that when we were in um, Vietnam, they did that. 
they did that for us. Linda said, going on a cruise to Rome, any suggestions on what floor we should book our balcony cabin on Norwegian Epic? I don't have a deck plan in front of me, Linda, so what I'm gonna say is book on a deck between two other passenger cabin decks, not near a public room. Stay away from bars, stay away from lounges, stay maybe midship between two decks of passengers. Stevie, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You have two teens going on the seaside and they want to know that there's stuff to do. They don't want kitty stuff. Yeah, Stevie, there's a lot to do on seaside and the kids really roamed free. Um, the kids on seaside when I was on it were in the arcade a lot of the time. Um, the pools are also fun to hang out. And then of course they have the, the teens clubs too. So they should be fine. Um, La Perrier Nathalie said, can you sleep with the balcony door open with no problems? Depends on the way that your balcony door is designed. Some of them you might need to take a bungee cord to do that. The cruise lines don't like you to do it because it's not energy efficient because the air conditioner continues to run or the heater and they don't like you to do it just for the record. But you might need a bungee cord to hold it open. If it's a sliding door, it'll be fine. Um, Shorty said, where did you guys get your power adapter for your abroad cruise? We're not using a power adapter. The ship that we're on, we checked with some other people who've been on it recently and it has, it has North American plugs. So we're not taking an adapter. Evie said, first time cruiser doing a repositioning cruise from Southampton to Florida. Any suggestions for so many sea days? Yes. Good book with you and just just relax and what's that do we lose it for a second sorry that we lost the stream there for a second you guys our camera um, kind of freezes after about 30 minutes and so mr. cruise tips TV had to wake it up so Evie just in case you didn't get my question um, let me try that one more time um, I was saying relax enjoy take a few books to read enjoy a lot of the onboard amenities I don't know which uh, cruise line that you're going on Evie but I would recommend um, maybe some spa treatments access to the thermal suite would probably be good get a massage and you know plan on maybe doing some nice morning morning walks if your cruise line has afternoon tea, take advantage of the afternoon tea. Just do all the little things that we don't get to do in life that you wanna do and enjoy it. I think you're gonna love that. All right, I'm gonna jump into the chat. Let's see here. Craving Cruises said, we're doing the panorama on inaugural and then on the seven day again with the whole family on February 1st. Come cruising with us on February 1st. Aw, oh, you never know, we, we might. We're kind of looking at January for panorama not too sure yet. It's not going to be February though, because I have another obligation in February. So I can't make that work. I can tell you that right now, but January just might. Okay. Did we get, um, did we get the chat back? Everything's fine. Not the chat, but the, the, okay. Emma, thank you so much for the compliment on my hair. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Elle Levine said, I'm going on MSCC said, and I was wondering, is the gelato complimentary for everyone? I don't believe that it is. I believe that it depends on your package. I believe if you're in the Aria and the Yacht Club, it should be complimentary, but I think you might have to pay a very small fee for those of you who are not. Um, Barb said, where did you get that picture on the wall behind you? Well, I would love to tell you. That beautiful um, photo, it's actually a photo, was taken by Griff from Griff and Alyssa's Paradise Crew on YouTube and Facebook. Um, Griff is a, a phenomenal photographer and he sent some of his content creator friends this beautiful image. So you'll see that a few other people got one as well. And Mr. Chris Tips TV hung it right up in the set. We thought, hey, this is beautiful. So I don't know if he's selling them or creating them for people, but go join their Facebook page. It's called, um, is it called, let me just check. I know it's called Paradise Crew, but I wanna get you the exact. Yeah, it's called Griff and Alyssa's Paradise Crew. But yeah, I know, isn't it pretty? It matches really well too. It's two carnival ships. We were able to figure out that much. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Daisy said on Royal Caribbean's private island, are the aqua, aqua bouncy areas safe? Daisy, I can't imagine probably a safer place. These, these types of places are extremely highly regulated. I don't know that they have lifeguards there, but I am pretty sure that safety is of primary concern for them. I would feel super safe, but obviously never leave the child unsupervised. Audrey said, we've booked a guarantee cabin on Celebrity. Since our luggage tags aren't issued prior to departure, how does the luggage process work at the pier? They have to assign your stateroom to you, Audrey, before you cruise. I think that they're gonna let you know what your 
what your stateroom is a few days or a few weeks before your cruise. Check with your travel agent to see when you get to find out. Sue said, suggestions on what to do in Dominica going on Celebrity Summit March 30th. I've never been, Sue. So if anybody has any um, suggestions on that, we would appreciate answers in the chat. That'd be super helpful. Ah, Emma, you're going on Meraviglia two weeks from today. We have so many people from Europe here today and people asking questions about it. That's so wonderful. Um, Emma, who's here in the chat, Emma Parker, Emma Cruises here in the chat, just got off Meraviglia and had an amazing time. Some of the things that I saw Emma do that are making me just so excited are visit the pub. Um, Emma had told me last time she was on the ship that they have beer tails, like cocktails made with beer, and they have really yummy pub food for a small charge. I think Emma was saying that, <clears throat> excuse me, the pub food is something like three to four euro, really good deal. So yeah, beep 848, are there any dress codes for Dubai for women travelers? Yes, there are. Um, I mean, I think the best thing to do, I'm Googling it right now. I've heard that you do have to keep certain things um, covered. This particular website is saying it's okay to wear sleeveless and short sleeve tops. Um, but you have to, that there's certain places that you may have that dress code and that you may need to cover the knees and shoulders. But it sounds like there's varying degrees of tolerance, you know, in different areas. So in Dubai, most of these websites are saying the dress code is quite liberal compared to other places in the Middle East. But if I were you, I would definitely plan to pack some pants and scarves in case you do visit some places where perhaps their dress code is a bit more limited. Um, STNCC said, should I buy the spa package on the boat or before? We have it for two people already, but need it for the third. Now the spa package, meaning the thermal suite package, if you're really interested, I would buy it before in case it sells out because the price probably won't change. If not, if not, it may go up actually. So buy it in advance. Spa treatments, I would wait until you get on board and I would book a port day special because they lower the prices on port days. Lisa says, if anybody's ever cruised the Costa Luminosa, please respond concerning your thoughts. We're going on June 2019 and really wonder what the ship is like. Okay, if anybody's been on Costa Luminosa, let's help Lisa. We haven't, Lisa, but definitely go to YouTube and I would recommend typing into the YouTube search bar Costa Luminosa review and see if there's some video reviews of that ship and do the same thing at cruiseline.com for reviews. You want to check that out for sure. Okay. All right, Santa Claus, any excursion ideas for Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic? Do you buy excursions to the cruise line or wait until you get off the port or online? I've never been to Punta Cana, so let's help Santa Claus. Barb Lynn wants to know if it's necessary to bring any cash on Labadee. I don't know if they have anything for sale on cash on Royal Caribbean's private island Labadee or private, I shouldn't say it's an island, it's not really, but their private resort destination. Does anybody know if you need cash on Labadee? Wisconsin Southern fan said, new to the chat, as someone that can only cruise once every few years, is it better to build loyalty with one line or try as many as possible? So far, I've only cruised with Carnival and Princess. If you love Carnival and Princess and you've really, you've, you know, you've become excited about those two lines, you might want to stay with them. What we generally recommend, though, for building cruise line loyalty is that if you do have interest in other lines, try all of them in the beginning and then find out which ones you love and then start building your loyalty. So you know, start by trying early, by trying different ones early. Tanya, thank you so much for the super chat and I will answer your question. First time cruisers going on Carnival Panorama June 2020 with a group of 20. Are the Family Harbor Suites and Lounge worth the money? Okay, Tanya, I don't know because I haven't sailed on Panorama yet, none of us have. But here's my concern and this is what you have to think about. I don't like how low on the ship the family harbor is. I think it's on deck two. I think to me, because we take the stairs everywhere, I think that's a little bit isolating. I'd rather be up closer to the pool. And I also don't like this walkway area on the aft balconies that they have in those suites. And I'm not really a fan of the cove balconies. Would I sail in a family harbor suite? Yes, I would to try it because I love the design of the staterooms with the extra half bath, the mini bathtub, the private area for the kids. You have gotta talk to your group and make sure that being down low on the ship in the family harbor is what you guys want. I don't know about the lounge. 
Um, and if, and you also have to consider you're going to be, it's all, it's going to be all kids and families. So if that's the experience you want, I would go for it and I would give it a try. Just knowing those things that you're going to be real low on the ship. Okay. Okay. Evie wants to know if anybody knows how much the internet packages are on Royal Caribbean. Evie, if you're booked, I would log into your cruise personalizer and see if they have any specials right now. Aaron said, is free at sea on NCL actually a deal or giant markup? Aaron, this is how I'd answer that question. Um, I think that nothing is free. <laughs> it is true. Nothing is free. Norwegian is a, is a great cruise line. They're not the cheapest. Free at sea, when you look at a free at sea sailing and you look at the sailings that they offer that don't have the free at sea perks, and I think they usually call them the sail away rates, you're going to see a big difference. You are paying for the perks. So it's up to you. If the drink package and the Wi-Fi and those other things hold that value to you, you got to do the math and you got to compare. Look at the sail away rate with none of the perks. Look at other cruise lines that are same itineraries and make your own judgment. That's my opinion. With that said, I still love it. I still love Free at Sea and I think it's a really cool promotion and I think it works for a lot of people. I love that they give you a lot of choices. And right now, with all that they're offering, it, you know, it could be that it's a really good deal. All right, more questions coming at us. Okay, I can't see below Aaron's just yet, but I'm done with Aaron's. Okay, okay. 99 in Grand Cayman, would you say you could walk around port or definitely recommend an excursion in Grand Cayman? If you like shopping and you like the, sh the you know, that little downtown area in Grand Cayman, it could be nice, but I would recommend either an excursion or just taking a taxi cab to a beach for the day. Jennifer said, what are your favorite hotels in Fort Lauderdale? Jennifer, I'd be happy to share with you, but I want you to know that they're not fancy. So I have not, I have not stayed at a fancy hotel in Fort Lauderdale. We're kind of more bargain hunters when it comes to hotels. Um, I'm, well, I forgot the name of one of them, so I'm going to Google it really quickly. But um, some of the ones that I like, I enjoy the Hampton Inn properties because I like their free breakfast. And I find that their product is very consistent. There is another um, hotel that I absolutely love in Fort Lauderdale, and that is the Embassy Suites, the one that's near the cruise port. And it is ex it sells out very, very quickly. They have an awesome happy hour where you get each adult gets free cocktails. They have snacks. It is a great deal. If you can get in at the Embassy Suites before it sells out, that's probably the one that I would recommend to you. And you can walk to the grocery store if you need to. You can walk to dinner from there and you're really, really, really close to the cruise port in Fort Lauderdale. So lots of options, but for me, I'd probably be looking at those two properties first. Wheezy said, is September a good time to cruise Alaska? It is, Wheezy. Sometimes you can get better deals, but expect it to be a little cooler, a little more drizzly, rainy things like that, but you can get some good deals. Bridget said, has anyone done the treetop adventure in St. Martin? I haven't, but maybe someone else can answer. Big P352, has anyone ever been to the chef's kitchen on Carnival? If so, how was it? I haven't, but maybe, again, I don't have all the answers. Maybe someone can weigh in on that. Amanda said, what would you recommend doing in Fort Lauderdale before cruising on Princess Caribbean? If I had one thing I'd want to do in um, Fort Lauderdale beforehand, it would be to find a way to get an excursion to the Everglades. We've been trying to do it, but we just, we, the last time we booked it, it got canceled because there was a medical emergency on our ship and we were arriving into port late, so we couldn't do it, but I would do that. Um, Shorty wants to know if anybody's ever cruised to the Greek Isles and what you should bring if you have. We haven't yet, but I think that'd be a dream cruise. Chalk said, I saw your vlogs. Can you move that up for me, honey? I saw your vlogs in the Splendor. We're going with a group of 18 plus in July. How hard is it to sit together for dinner? Um, yeah, go to Seahawks. What you need to do for the sitting together is go to those office hours. We answered this earlier in the vlog as well. Um, go to the office hours for the maitre d' on day one, dining room open hours, and ask them to be seated together. Um, l l lactose milk, do you mean non-lactose milk or should you bring it? I don't know if they're gonna have that specific product. Um, I don't know if you can bring it, but they ooh, they do have some milk alternatives, maybe almond milk and things like that, but I'm not sure I would count on it. You might want to ask the maitre d', and if you have special dining requests, you really need to speak with them about that on day one. They can help you. Kristen said, has anyone been on Anthem of the Seas? What's the weather like in Bermuda in May? Let's help Kristen with that. Um, 
Kristen Hill said, do any of the cruise lines include specialty dining and drinks with the cruise price? As of now, only the high-end lines, the premium lines do, but the mainstream lines, as far as I know, do not. River cruise lines do some, and the, the upscale lines do. Linda Curtis said, any concerns buying a cruise online with Vacations To Go? I've heard great things about Vacations To Go, Linda, so I wouldn't be concerned. Julia Hurt said, we're going on an NCL cruise in June and we have a 10-year-old daughter. She's worried about the kids' area. She doesn't really like gaming. Oh gosh, yes, they have tons of other things to do. Um, I am going to, Julia, NCL is phenomenal for kids and they have tons of activities. Let me just tell you what an average day was like for our son on Princess in the Kids Center. And believe me, Norwegian will have this. Um, they'll have this and tons more. So let's just give you an example of a sea day on a cruise. 9 a.m. did start with Wii games. 10 a.m. they made a gecko out of beads. 11 a.m. they played foosball. 11.30 they did a craft. Then they had lunch. Then they had free play where the kids could do whatever they want. 2.30, shark trivia. 3.15, they made a shark tooth craft and a shark tooth necklace. And then at night, they watched Moana. They had pizza in the dining room. They played checkers and chess. They had an ice cream party and a scavenger hunt. So yeah, she's going to be fine. They are amazing on these cruise lines with kids. It's just unbelievable what they do. All right. Tanya said, has anyone cruised with a special needs child on Carnival? First time cruisers with a four year old with autism? Advice please. Tanya, yes, there are many people in our community who have. Hopefully after this, maybe if we don't have answers for you today, after the live stream someone can weigh in. But Tanya, also check out Autism on the Seas, I believe it's called, and get some resources from them. Tiffany said, earliest check in time in RC. I think you mean on Royal Caribbean. Tiffany, I think it depends on the port. Mindy said, going on Carnival Splendor and also Memorial Day holiday, May 25th to June 1, can you message family members throughout the Hub app while you're on the ship? Yes, but you do have to um, download the app and there is a small charge for the messaging and everyone will need to get that messaging system on that ship. All right, so we have about 10 more minutes. We'll continue, um, we'll continue. I'm MG Toe, you got the impression we didn't care for our Asian cruise? That's probably been one of our favorite cruises of our life. I don't know where you got that impression, but it's been amazing. It was one of our absolute favorites. Um, Phyllis wants to know if anyone's used Queasy Beads for anti-nausea. I haven't. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, are you? Um, do you want me to just continue questions here? Okay, sounds good. We have a lot of, um, a lot of questions still. Phyllis, I've never tried those Queasy Beads, but... Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep looking for a few more questions here. What's that? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like we're doing pretty good here. So this is, this is probably a good time for us to go ahead and sign off. What I'm going to go ahead and let everybody know is that if I've missed your question today, because I know the chat was going pretty fast there for a while, if for any reason we missed your question, the best way to get in touch with me is to direct message me over on our Facebook page which is Cruise Tips TV. When you are looking for our Facebook page, someone else has created a duplicate <laughs> Cruise Tips TV Facebook page and it's creating some confusion. The one that you want to follow is the one with my picture on it, not the one with a, the with a profile picture of a cruise ship. That's the wrong one. Okay, um, Isabel said, does Vapor Rub help with nausea? I've never heard that, Isabel. Maybe it does. Maybe the minty vapors help, I don't know. Barb said, did you ever say when you'll be taking the MSC Med Cruise? Yeah, early spring, Barb. It's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. We're really excited. Wheezy wants to know, how is your Manfrotto backpack? You're still contemplating getting a small one. Make sure you speak up, honey, so they can hear you in the mic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, I like the Manfrotto products. You're going to pay a little bit more for Manfrotto. Um, there, there's a lot of different models. Um, I got a specific model that opens and you can store the camera in the bottom. It opens kind of like halfway and, and I prefer prefer that. A lot of them, they have like a side opening and stuff like that. I, I just, I don't know, I just can't make that work. But yeah, the Manfrotto, Manfrotto makes very good products, but expect to pay a little bit more. Um, I always just look for bargains and, you know, take advantage when I see a bargain. Good answer. Oh, Seahawks wants to know if we're voting for the for rooting for the Rams or the Pats. Kind of, kind of neither. We're just not into football anymore. We used to be big 49ers fans, but 
I just feel like we have so many other things in life that we'd rather spend our time on. Please don't hate us for not liking football, as it does not make us anti-American. It's hold on, just... Hold on, hold on. It's not that we don't like no, it. No, I like it. Just, just don't have time. No. We really just don't have time. That was my point. We don't hate it. We just aren't very interested in, in that anymore. Who are you rooting for? Let us know, guys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, DM Bulldog. I appreciate it. All right. Okay, well, that makes it. Thank you very much. To those of you who are saying that there are some other duplicate Facebook pages out there, thank you. Yes, I don't I don't feel super violated. It's just, it's, it's sad to me um, that it's confusing some of our subscribers, that they're following that page, they're posting questions on that page, and they're not getting them answered. So that's the only thing that I don't like. Anyhow, thank you all so much for being here. This was a really fun chat. I appreciate all of you. And again, don't hesitate to direct message me over on Facebook. I can respond to comments here on YouTube, but I'm a lot slower to do so because I have to weed through a lot of other comments that are not so nice. And so you forgive me, guys, but it's just the truth. So next live stream. Saturday, February 16th at noon Pacific, right here, same same place. I can't say the same time because it's not. And again, if you'd like to do a free preview of our masterclass, you can watch the first video at no charge. Just go check it out in the description of this video. And thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. Go have a wonderful day. Enjoy the big game. And until two weeks from now, we'll see you on the high seas. Cruise around the week. <laughs> Hey, click me to subscribe.